I think it's pretty fair to say that black and blue are the two strongest colors, and that the other three are... They're all, you know, in the same boat, roughly. Ethan's gonna go to 13. He's gonna fetch for a regular island. And that might leave Deceiver Exarch up, but I'm not sure why he would do that now. And he's just going to Kolagon's command. I think he's going to shoot one of the Swift Spears and make Josh discard a card. As the other two modes are pretty dead right now. Yep. Swift Spear is going to go to the graveyard along with an Apostle's Blessing. Josh is going to untap and draw. Hello, Kyler. Thank you for watching. And, um... Oh, Manamorphose. Let's see if this can get things started. So we're going to have one trigger on Monastery Swift Spear from the Manamorphose. And I think Ethan's going to pull some dice aside. So two red mana. I assume that he's only going to have red mana in his mana pool. This is round two in our modern FNM. We're Hometown Hobbies, streaming from Rare Drops, which is next door to our store, here on Nerd Row. I believe that's a salt strobe. And a Blister Coil Weird. So Swift Spear is going to be a 3, and that should put Ethan down to 10, if I did my math correct. Maybe that was not a Salt Strobe then. Oh, it, it gives it Double Strike, of course. Yeah, it puts him down to 7. Bloodstained Meyer is going to come down for Ethan, putting him to six, and he's going to search his deck for a swamp. Ooh, he takes a bag and grabs a mountain instead. Electrolyze coming down. That's just going to take care of the monastery. Oh, he targets the monastery swift spear and then reads the blister coil weird. This is a local F and M, so I believe Josh would let him read, it, especially having never played with blister coil weird. Uh, he's going to draw for the electrolyze, handle the swift spear, and Josh is going to draw for turn. Uh, he's going to be. It's going to be his blister coil weird against one island. He's going to attack with the blister coil weird, putting Ethan down to five. He's going to play a Kiln Fiend and pass. So Kiln Fiend, for those of you who don't know, is a 1-2 for 1 and a red. And I believe it says when you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus 3 to its power. Plus 3, plus 0. Oh. Yes, when you play an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus 3, plus 0. Oh. It costs 1 and a red and is a 1-2. A Lightning Bolt's going to come down and take care of that. And he's going to Teamer Battle Rage onto his attacking Blister Coil Weird. Remand? Or Mana Leak? Remand. Remand on the Teamer Battle Rage. Um, I believe he can eat it with the Blister Coil Weird if that's what Blister Coil Weird does. I'm gonna put Josh down to th or put Ethan down to three. Oh, okay. Uh, Blister Coil Weird is not an Omega's Elemental. I was getting those two confused. So Blister Coil Elemental says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, Blister Coil Weird gets Blister Coil Weird gets plus one plus one and untap it. 
a shot coming down to put Ethan to one. You gotta live bold sometimes to play this game. And a batter skull. Uh, that's going to be a, um, a pro potentially problematic card for Josh if he doesn't draw a burn spell or something. Because we're going to have the 4-4 four, 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 <laughs> four, four German to play. And land's going to come down for Josh. Apostle's Blessing on black. Uh, the germ is black. So Josh is going to have to lose 2 life down to 18. And that's going to definitely be lethal. As you see a Dispel, Remand, and I believe another Counter Magic spell from Ethan. So we're going to reset the life totals to 20. As we are going to go to a quick Game 3. Yeah, I, I realized I was thinking of New Megas Elemental. Uh, I was not sure what I was thinking of. Nivix Cyclops. I'm trying to think of all of those kind of cards that are all red blue and have pump abilities with instants and sorceries. And uh, Niv Megas Elemental was the one that was just stuck in my head. Thanks again to all the viewers who are watching. We're uh, currently in round two of our modern F and M. Uh, we're streaming at Hometown Hobbies next door to Rare Drops here in Huntington, West Virginia. And uh, the Invitational took a lot of the spotlight, but let's not forget that there was also a Modern Open along with a Standard Open. I, I never look at the Standard stuff because, I'm going to be honest with you all, Standard does bore me a little bit. Um, I want to congratulate Claire Bigelow on winning the Modern Open playing Green Red Tron. The rest of the top eight was rounded out in order of placement with Twin, Infect, Affinity, Mono Blue Tron, followed by Grixis Twin, Infect in 7th, and rounding out the top 8 was another copy of Jund. So that was everything that happened. I think that there was also a modern Invitational qualifier, like the 5K Invitational qualifiers this weekend, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> the old cut, the top card to the bottom. That's the ultimate trick. Uh, we're going to see both players draw seven, and I believe Ethan will play first this game as he's going to try to... The only way I think he can win is... Well, that's a start. I think he has a twin and a Deceiver Exarch in hand. If not, that's a Lightning Bolt, definitely. Uh, it seemed like he had a few... Uh, at least two lands and some spells, one of which might have been a Reman. So we might see Ethan keep... Yeah, looks like that was a shoulder shrug saying, sure. And Josh is definitely thinking hard. Yeah, maybe Josh says, you know what, whatever. No, he's going to look. So, of course he's going to keep. No, uh, he's going to mulligan. So, Josh is going to go to six, and we're going to see Ethan stay at um, seven. Which is always good for the contr or the uh, combo player. Looks like Josh likes a six. Polluted Delta is going to come down for Ethan. And it looks like we're going to have this third game underway. Josh's deck is... Yeah, it's, it's combo. <laughs> for sure. He's going to take one from the Delta. And it looks like he's going to shock himself for two. Grabbing a Watery Grave. Water your is going to be tapped for a Thought Seize? Is that Inquisition? Okay. <laughs> Ethan playing a Thought Seize there is... I guess he might need to do it to get rid of that Swift Spear, but... 
It looks like that Swift Spear might be the one. We're going to see double Assault Strobe. Blister, two Mountains, and a Swift Spear. And I think you have to get rid of the Swift Spear because it's going to deal the most damage. I think... Yeah, of course it's going to. It has a it has an extra toughness, and it's going to deal just as much damage as the Blister Coil Weird. They both have almost the same ability. Ethan's going to damage himself first this game. And he takes the Swift Spear, so now Josh's hand consists of two Mountains, two Assault Strobes, and a Blister Coil Weird. And Assault Strobe, for those of you who do not know, is... A sorcery from Scars of Mirrodin. It costs one red to cast, as in just a single red mana, and uh, gives a target creature double strike until end of turn. Yes, we do um, modern every single Friday now. Um, everybody wants it. We all want it. It's the most fun. So why not play with these awesome cards? Uh... Turn one Blister Coil Weird into a turn two Sulphur Falls from Ethan, who's going to simply pass it back. Josh is going to knock the top of his deck, play a mountain, which might... I'm not sure if that was a different art mountain or not. That's the first of that art I think I've seen. Or, the Avon art is a new art, I should say. Uh, a top deck Swiss Spear is going to come down. He's going to get in there for an, a two attempt. Uh, the remand was not a remand, but looks like he has a Lightning Bolt. And he's going to Lightning Bolt the Swift Spear, if I had to guess. It's going to Lightning Bolt. The other one. Mutagenic Growth going to come down to make it a 4. Josh is going to go to 18. And that's going to do a lot of triggers. We're going to make the Blister Coil Weird a 4-4. Four, four. It's going to be 6 total, putting Ethan to 11. That could be a blowout. We'll see if Ethan can come back from that. He lost a vital piece of removal. Yeah, uh, another modern card that went up is Deceiver Exarch, I'm pretty sure, which is, as you see right here. So I guess this is pre-combat? Okay. So we're going to see... No, just a main phase. That's weird. Upkeep. This must be an upkeep. An upkeep Deceiver Exarch. He's going to Assault Strobe his Blister Coil Weird to give it Double Strike. So right now it's a 2-2 two -two with Double Strike untapped. He's going to attack for, right now, 4... If he plays a Brute Force, that's lethal. There's a Titan Strength. That is exactly game. <laughs> that is awesome. Josh gets it. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, that was a pretty cool deck. I see how that deck works now. Um... Well, that was that was a weird way to end that match, and I'm sure Ethan wasn't expecting to see that. Um, so, Blister Coil Weird started as a 1-1. One, one. It gets plus 1, plus 1 from the Assault Strobe being, it ca being cast to give a double strike, so it's already a 2-2. Two, two. Titan Strength comes down, making it a 5-3, and then its ability triggers, making it a 6-4 with double strike, dealing 12. Um, so... That is, that was a, a crazy sequence of plays to, to get that one clinched for Josh. I'm going to see if I can get him over here. Um, and this is the only unfortunate part to not having somebody over here with me, is now I have to leave you with dead air pretty much until I can go get these guys. So I'm going to put up another one of these so you can check us out make sure you like us on Facebook um, I'll be right back with the winner of that game Josh Black playing blistering red I'll be back momentarily give me one second guys